mission performance and flexibility for the mission design for a spacecraft of the mass of ICON. The launch of ICON will be anything but ordinary. It will be carried on the underbelly of Northrop Grumman's L-1011 Stargazer aircraft, a launch pad far above the clouds in the sky. The one unique thing about Pegasus is that it's air launch. So the L-1011, which is the last flying plane of its kind, it is essentially our launch pad in the air. It's a mobile launch pad that flies up to about 40,000 feet, and that's where we launch the Pegasus from. With the tireless effort by the team to reach mission success, it is time for ICON to prepare for another launch attempt. There are no constraints on the For ICON. all involved, this is familiar territory, yet something feels different this time. It's taking a little extra time and extra care with the launch vehicle, but we're about there. Why I'm excited right now is that we're getting so close to launch, and it has taken a huge effort to get there. Vandenberg Air Force Base in California is bustling with activity. The excitement is palpable as ICON literally comes together. Pegasus stages one, two, and three are assembled. The aft, skirt, and fin installation are now complete. ICON's solar array illumination is tested. And finally, the spacecraft is mated to Pegasus. Once it's mated to the rocket, there'll, there'll be a compatibility test between the rocket 